It's your boy Papa Duck. Listen, man, I've said a lot of this same stuff. And then uh, I want to run this video and I want y'all to check this out. Also, this speech that a lot of people don't know about that Martin Luther King said when he basically woke up, when he basically saw that you can't be rational with the unrational, all the marching and the protest, none of that never helped. And once he realized that, he did a speech about it, which a lot of people never heard this speech. But that was the, 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 the turning point on when they assassinated him. And see, a lot of people don't, only, only, the only speech they know is this, I had a dream speech. But anyway, I'm finna run this video. I want to know what y'all think about this. You know what I'm saying? I just want to know y'all thoughts on this. Please drop your comments on the bottom of this. Let me know what you think. But this is a real powerful video. And, um, you know, yeah, just check it out. Based off the scriptural lens that you use, I've never read in the Bible or Holy Quran where a politician ever freed the people. In fact, every time I read the scripture, the politicians were always in cahoots with the rulers and the kings that were the enemies of the messengers and the prophets. And what we've seen with Rome, Egypt, Babylon, Sodom, and Gomorrah, anytime you got a nation where everything goes, that nation will soon be gone. That's right. You, I, I like what you said about economic empowerment because I've been reading a lot about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You know, I'm reading a lot from his attorney, Dr. William mm -hmm, Pepper, mm -hmm. and everybody knows Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As soon as he made that pivot from civil like civil rights to civil, to civil rights, that's, right. that's when he got he got killed. That that is whenever they kill. And his his wife said it mm -hmm. before she passed. She said that they killed my Martin because he got involved in economics. Basically, what that means is when Martin Luther King got real and he realized what was going on, that's when they had to take him out. But you got to understand that this is a real war we fighting. And it went from a physical to a mental because we fight for our minds. Let's get back to the video. Politics right now and everything that's going on with politics. Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, and everything that's going on in the Democratic Party. What are your thoughts? Politics and it's rough, you know, whether it's the Democrats or the Republican it's <laughs> I mean, it's just challenge, you know, right. to get involved, really. I mean, because everything seems like it's the same flavor with a different label on it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, unfortunately, uh, we we have, I think that as a people, we have invested too much uh, into politics and not enough into spiritual reform and economic uh, reform of our people. We made a big mistake, I believe, in the 60s and the 50s and the 40s fighting for civil rights when we should have been fighting for silver rights. Yeah. We should have been doing more independent economic affairs instead of wasting so much time trying to get them to accept us. We had, at the time, before integration, we had black hotels, black cab companies, black bus companies, black restaurants. And as soon as white people say, y'all can come and eat with us and sleep with us and and, and, and riding our cars, all of ours went out of business. Integration meant disintegration because we misappropriated into civil rights instead of civil rights. Today, we're doing the same with politics. We are putting too much of our vested interest into electing a benevolent white person into office or a Negro that's going to be the manager of white people's affairs to become the highest uh, position in the land. We need to invest more time in the spiritual development and economic development as a people. So I'm not, I'm not really uh, uh, personally excited about it. See, the, the, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said like his, he said, business is the activity of life. This is the responsibility of any people. Billy Holiday said like this, that mama may have and papa may have, but God bless a child that, that has know. its own. You translate that into spiritual politics or economic. See, the Jews might have, Chinese people might have, Caucas but God bless a people that have, have their own. Right now, do you know we brought in $1.3 trillion last year as a people? Mm. Out of 226 nations on the earth, that makes black people in America the eighth richest nation. We brought in $600 billion more than, than Spain, $700 billion more than Mexico. Yes, yeah, Spain has 46 million people like we do, and they maintain a 208,000 square mile landmass, and they have their own everything. Mexico has 131 million 700,000 people, and they're maintaining 771,500 square miles. 
with half the money we have. Yet they have whole countries and we don't have nothing we can call on. Something happened to us. We, we got to get back into what, what they call today uh, 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 financial literacy. But we got to do it quick because we got to start doing something uh, for ourselves. We got the dollars. We just need some more sense to go with them dollars. <laughs> mm-hmm. Absolutely. We, got, we need some more sense because right now we the leaders in unnecessary spending. We always buying stuff we don't need with money that we don't have from people that we don't like to impress people that we don't even know. Mm. And the Negro, the black mind right now has been hardwired where happiness is connected to spending when it needs to be hardwired to investing and in to saving. And if we can renegotiate the contract in the black, black psyche for happiness to spending, to investing and saving, I think we'll be able to build a bright future.